Oh, it's alive. Okay, beloved, I'm gonna need you to do something with this. simply wanted to know what they were catching um, and at the same time to see how do we know what the cats are doing out there? Are they bringing everything back into, into the house? We really don't know that. And at that time, um, little uh, animal-born video cameras, which we uh, which everyone knows as kitty cams now, were put on um, cats in different suburbs around uh, Cape Town. What was interesting for us is that people often argue that cats are really important for controlling rats and mice. And, but we found actually that cats are killing nine other animals for every rat or mouse that they kill. We had a study looking, getting the owners to record all of the prey that the cats brought home so that we could get some sort of idea on whether the cameras might affect the prey that they brought home, but also just, just kind of make sure that the owners were keeping track of what was brought home. And that allowed us to see that while some people didn't think that their cats hunted at all, and maybe the cats didn't bring anything home um, that the owners saw, when we checked the kitty cam footage, there was prey that the cats caught, which was really interesting because that just kind of shows that cats are catching a lot that their owners might never even know about. Everything from scorpions, spiders, um, crickets, mice, birds, bats, um, squirrels, a lot of the owners thought that their cats weren't going anywhere, um, but with those GPS collars, I could actually see that quite a number of them went into the, the conservation or wetland area. Um, and so I think that most people think that their cats might not be going that far um, because they think that they're either lazy cats or they feel old. Or, but I had a 10-year-old cat, if I remember correctly, that, caught, that brought home four prey items and was moving into the wetland. At the end of the day, the answers to our questions were the average Cape Town cat is catching about 90 prey per year and we reckon there were about 300,000 cats um, in Cape Town catching 90 prey on average per year. Um, that uh, translates to 27.5 million um, animals per year. Most of those were reptiles, so the vast majority were reptiles, 14 million reptiles for example. We, we estimate about 450,000 birds, including sunbirds, uh, sugar birds, weavers, a tiny percentage, below 2% of, of all the prey, according to the, the kitty cam study. So those were the answers we needed. And then we turned and said, where are these cats going? They're actually leaving the open edge areas and they're moving into Table Mountain National Park. We knew that from the little GPS uh, trackers that we had on them. Um, and from that, we could estimate there's just over 2,000 cats on the urban edge going into Table Mountain National Park. And from that, we can work out uh, approximately 200,000 animals per year are being taken from within this biosphere reserve. People also say, well, what should we do? And, and I think that's the thing is, is now we need to try and meet them and say, OK, well, how can we reduce it? Because we, we understand people love this cats and especially now during lockdown people who live alone it's particularly important I think this connection. There is some research that seems to show bells might make a difference but of course the reptile is not going to hear a bell um, and, and even if they hear a bell do they even know that it signals danger? Um, Justin Rian, um, who was the, the professor also involved in, in the study, he suggested we actually have uh, cat-free zones as a buffer around Table Mountain National Park. Um, so we're talking about a buffer of about 800 meters where it's like a stewardship program. It's not banning cats from those houses. It's saying to the cat owners, would you be responsible for your cat? Would you either put it in, in a catio, which is an enclosed patio, um, or, or would you keep it in during night to at least reduce the amount of time that it, that it has um, uh, out there? We originally thought that, listen, we're in Africa, there's lots of predators around, cats wouldn't perhaps have such a, a big impact, and they have just as big an impact as they do in other parts of the world. So the fact that these, these cats are living in Africa means means nothing. They are having uh, a, a, as large an impact in, in terms of the number of prey caught per cat uh, per year.